Taigi, man labai malonu jūs visus šiai matyti ir mūsų jungtiniam štebe, kur jau antrą dieną vyksta NATO pajėgų integravimo vienėtų konferencija, vadų konferencija, kurios metu mes aptarėm visą eilę klausimų. Na, visų pirma, be jokios abejos, mes kalbėjom apie tai, kaip NATO pajėgų integravimo vienėtai vykdo savo funkcijas, Kalbėjom apie plėtrą, apie perspektyvas, apie iššūkius, kurių iš tiesų yra nemažai. Ir taip pat turėjom šiandien galimybę aptarti kelią, kaip mes įgyvendinam tiek Velso samito arba viršūnio susitikimo, tiek Varšuvos viršūnio susitikimo sprendimus operaciniam lygmeniai. Iš tiesų, aš labai džiaugiuosi, kad šis susitikimas vyksta Lietuvoj, jungtiniam štabe. Ir labai džiaugiuosi, kad prie mūsų prisijungė ir čia atvyko labai aukšto rango NATO pareigūnai. First of all, good afternoon everyone and I'm very pleased to be here, honored and thank you to the Lithuanian authorities, to Major John Vitalius for hosting us, thank you for Uh, the effort made by Multinational Corps Northeast, Jan Manfred Hoffman, and Jakob, that is the most famous guys in NATO in, uh, in Lithuania. Uh, let me say that these two days, I just been present today and yesterday was a nice working dinner with the Deputy Minister, Marius, that uh, was very fruitful. And yesterday uh, during the dinner, working dinner, and today has been two great days of fruitful discussion and uh, uh, just uh, exchange your point of view uh, about uh, the NFIUs, how they are progressing, how much they have done, and I'm very content. We addressed also other issues uh, in the future in the perspective, like the announced for our presence. We have already uh, just dealt with some other issue confirming the validity of the NATO uh, uh, just the posture Uh, assurance, deterrence, and so on. And I think that we can see ourselves very satisfied. I am completely satisfied because uh, we uh, didn't present PowerPoint uh, just slides. We just spoke to each other in order to understand better and to get the road forward in order to enhance the capability on NATO. I have to say that since last year, in September something, when the Secretary General NATO declared the uh, IOC and the establishment of the NFIUs, NATO is with you. No NATO nation is alone, no the Baltics, no Poland, no else. And uh, not only is NATO present, NATO is uh, uh, growing up, uh, is present and will be even more present with an for our presence. And I think that this effort shows And the commitment, the decision made in February by the Defense Minister shows how much the solidarity of the many nations are in place, not only here, but all 360 degrees south, north, east, and west of NATO. I just would like to remember that in uh, June, May, June, we played a lot of exercises deploying really, it was a real deployment of EJTF, which is from Spain, from UK, from Albania, from Poland we deployed close to the Baltic states in Poland for an exercise, demonstrated really that we can deploy. And the NFIUs made a great effort at the time, demonstrate to be capable, and we are fully satisfied about this. Having said that, uh, I would like to, to state that, you know, 
we are working to enhance the capability. The solidarity has grown up. You know that uh, the minister approved the uh, concept and Warsaw as well of the announced for our presence. Now, next week, there is another meeting. We are working on the implementation of this. But let me say, with the, you know, the four framework nations, United States, uh, Germany, Canada, and UK deployed with the battle group, with other nations supporting them, including nations from the south, Spain, Albania, Italy, uh, no country uh, as Norway, and the other uh, member of NATO, they are supporting, showing solidarity. Representing the NATO is a defense organization, a defense alliance. NATO is determined. NATO is answering in a proportionate way, not escalating, not provoking, being transparent. And we are. We will continue to do so. And this is very important. This is something that is a message that is clear for us, should be clear for any adversary that we have. And uh, we are going on on this without escalating. We are searching for the dialogue. Indeed, you know, just yesterday during the working dinner, I said, who else better than the Baltic states should find a way to dialogue with Russia? Everyone would like NATO as well. Uh, we are open to the dialogue. But uh, at the same time, we have to deter, to assure, and if necessary, to be able to defend. And this is why we developed this concept, we discuss in order to be able one day, if there is the need, to be able, and my uh, dream is to be a commander that 10 days before would say to my superior and to the NAC, look, the situation is you know, deteriorating, let's apply a crisis response measure without shooting any bullets would be the great things and the greatest thing for everyone. And because we uh, care about peace and security, we are preparing to be responsive. We are preparing to exercise, we are preparing to support, we are preparing to deter. And this is my message to you. And I congratulate the uh, General Hoffman, uh, Lithuanian hosting, and all the commanders of the NFIUs. These are reality, NATO structure in place, but they represent also the, not only the potential presence, but the future presence of other forces that are coming and uh, by exercise, by called in, or announced for our presence. And so we are content. It's a proportional adaptation on NATO. It's not an escalation. It's not a provocation in a transparent way. We declare everything we do, and we will be continue to do so. Thank you so much. And uh, also welcome from my side. It's the first time that I give uh, some press remarks uh, in Lithuania. My first time in Lithuania was the inauguration of the NFIU here on the 3rd of September last year. And I'm really happy that the first NFIU Commanders Conference outside of Stachin, it's all in all the number three, will be here or has been here in, in, in Stachin. So it's a wonderful venue for that uh, great team. And uh, you know, it's, it's a little bit more than uh, two years ago that the time has uh, changed completely for, for multinational core northeast. Out of the Wales decisions, we uh, managed it uh, within two years uh, to come up from a forces uh, headquarter of lower readiness to a high readiness headquarter. Uh, since June this year, a little bit more than four months ago, we have been certified uh, as a high readiness core uh, working for NATO. And uh, we take over such a label as uh, acting as custodian for that special region of the NATO area. That means the northeastern part, uh, together with the three Baltic states, Poland, but also, uh, again, since 1st of September, it's also Slovakia and Hungary. So uh, we feel committed, really committed and responsible for safety and security in that region. And I want to underline it very precisely. Multinational Corps Northeast is the one and only core in the NATO force structure who is clearly dedicated to one special region where is our focus. Our focus is here. We are prepared, we are high readiness, but we are concentrating on this region. And as custodian, you can be only able to be successful if you have some knights around you. And I feel that teams from now six NFIUs around me in my team, coming from Estonia, 
Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Slovakia, Hungary, very well supported. And that was also the result of the today's and uh, yesterday's conference here in, uh, uh, in Vilnius. A very fruitful uh, discussions about the lessons identified uh, since the last 14 months uh, in, in close cooperation. Uh, lessons identified and the way ahead. So um, at the end, we are still, and that was not other to await it from my side, on the same understanding. It's a close team, it's a close interest, very well connected to each other and well supported. So we are here, stand ready for every task NATO will give us in close cooperation and close support of JFC Pronsum and together with the host nations. And what I want to underline, the support, the understanding, and uh, the, let me say, the helping hands from the host nations here in that area, from the NFIU side, that is, uh, all the countries I just mentioned, is absolutely great and outstanding. And I would uh, use the chance to thank all this nation in that region for their understanding, for their support, and uh, we will give it back in getting your area here safer and more secure. Thank you very much.